Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac, if I am not mistaken. And correct me if I'm wrong here, we are due for our standard Isaac run. I, I kind of got, you know, kerfuddled. I got things mixed up. Kerfuddled, I'm pretty sure is a word that I made up. Maybe a little mix of befuddled and ker-confused. I just made that one up as well, but that time was on purpose. Um, but I, I got confused because I'm, I was supposed to do like this standard set order, you know, we do Universal items pool, Isaac run, random run, and we'd repeat it in that order or, you know, in that sequence in some way. Those would be played in that way, if that makes any sense. What am I even talking about? It wouldn't be a, an Isaac run if I didn't take damage against Larry Jr., but in any case, uh, I had like a really bad random run, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do another random run. So I don't know where we're at in the rotation. Again, that's why I said correct me if I'm wrong, but that's pretty silly. You can't correct me, you're in the future. I'm down here in the past of uh, January 13th, 2014, the first day living in a post Nidhogg universe. You're over there in probably January 19th, January 20th, 2014. I could like scrawl a message out on a, you know, the graffiti style on the side of a train station or something and you guys would actually see it, but uh, unfortunately, uh, you can't send a message back to me except through the comments to say how much of an idiot I am for not immediately re-rolling the coat hanger. Here's my situation with the coat hanger. So we got the coat hanger there. Um, it's a tears upgrade. I think it's pretty good, but I also don't necessarily mind re-rolling it because I think HP upgrades are more valuable. Now, mind you, we could re-roll that to something much shittier than uh, an HP upgrade. We could re-roll it to uh, Cat of Nine Tails, for example. That's like the typical shitty example. Let's see what we got in our pill here. And uh, well, you know. That's fine, we got some experience. Uh, I only think we're gonna get one reroll on this floor anyway, so I don't mind just kind of going to the item room and seeing what is available, and then we'll, uh, you know, cross that bridge when we come to it. Because in here, oh, it's Necronomicon, so our choice is made for us. This is why I, I have a little bit more peace of mind having waited now. So we'll definitely pick up the coat hanger, we'll reroll Necronomicon into Luckfoot, which would make all pills not bad. Probably wouldn't have changed uh, the bad gas pill, but I'm happy to have Luckfoot. That's, we got two decent passives, I think, on floor one. Still a lot of work to be done uh, to atone for previous runs, which have not necessarily been the strongest, but uh, hopefully we are able to, you know, use this as a foundation, a good kicking off point, if you will. Uh, and trading a bomb for a key, I think, was a very smart decision, because now that I find myself on the cellar part two with only one key, uh, we wouldn't have been able to go to the item room without uh, making that decision, unless something changes within the next uh, couple of rooms, so I think this was probably the correct course of action. In any case, let's continue moving onwards here. I always like a good Isaac run. Shame we're not on universal item pools, because if we were on universal item pools, then I could just uh, go to that library and feel, you know, very content. Hey, we found the second secret room by accident. It's the missing page, which I believe gives us... It's one of those items that I use so rarely, one of those trinkets, I should say, that I use so rarely, that the part of my brain that was actually used to hold that information has atrophied and withered away. So I'm pretty sure that that gives us a familiar when we go down to half of a red heart, which is like the most useless fucking trinket I could possibly imagine. Except for ones that actively hurt you, but in any case, it's gonna be another floor with only one reroll. Uh, could have gone to that curse room, but what I was thinking is, why go to the curse room right away? We might as well wait until we lose this spirit heart through some other means. Uh, and then... Okay, yeah, you know what? I, I'm sorry to the people who are not gonna like this, but I'm totally picking up Mom's knife. We'll go to the curse room, I just wanted to kind of shake out the rest of the floor first, because I don't want to throw my spirit heart away to the curse room if there's a, a reasonably good chance that we're gonna lose the spirit heart anyway, and we did, so... Who's laughing now, Mom? We're definitely gonna pick up the HP upgrade, and we'll continue moving onward. So this is a very good start here. I understand there's a contingent of people that get furious that I picked up Mom's knife. That doesn't really bother me that much uh, anymore because I'm assuming at this point, it, it, it the problem is not me. It, I should probably take uh, Eve's bird foot. If you've been hanging on this long and saying like maybe he'll eventually forsake mom's knife, that's very unlikely to happen. Okay, um, of these, I think Lord of the Pit is better because it gives us the speed upgrade and we really have no need for the, uh, the Ouija board effect of Spirit of the Night. So we're a little low on health, that's an issue. Uh, but apart from that, we did gain the ability to fly. So as long as I don't die, Things look great. If I do die, things look less good. I could reroll this other, uh, you know, flying item here. That seems like kind of a silly decision, though. Let's continue moving onwards. Shall we curse the labyrinth on the catacombs? This actually is uh, probably where the run will become scariest, at least from a survival standpoint. From a damage standpoint, obviously we are sitting pretty right now. But from a survival standpoint, uh, we find ourselves in a bit of a concern. But this is looking like a pretty casual. Uh, Isaac run right now. If I can just snag a few more HP upgrades, then uh, we're sitting fairly pretty here. 
And we do have more, uh, you know, we've set the precedent of going to deals with the devil. That means more deals with the devil could show up if I perform admirably on floors. That'll give me a higher chance of getting them. What do I even want? Uh, you know, guppy items would obviously be great. Apart from that, we're already, we've got the, the two items, or the two things, I should say. Let's take these. First one, speed upgrade. That's fine. Second one, balls of steel. That's good. Increase our survivability a lot, actually. Um... What are the two things I want most from uh, Deal with the Devil rooms? Increased damage and actually the ability to fly. I know Bizsnap uh, doesn't like trading health for the ability to fly because the ability to fly shows up so... Uh, or can show up, I should say, so easily uh, without having to sacrifice health for it. But uh, I kind of disagree. I kind of think, like, you know, take your advantages where you can get them. Even if it costs you a little bit to start with, that's okay. It's like, you know... It, you, you could start a company of your own for free, and maybe it'll it'll make you a multimillionaire. But you could also, you know, just pay ten thousand to invest in a company, and maybe you have a better chance. I'm sure if Mark Zuckerberg had the option, he wouldn't feel too bad about it either. I don't even know. Like I'm kind of rambling about what I just said there, uh, but that's okay. So I think at this point we've almost gotten too many speed upgrades, but that's okay. Um, with the blood bag, uh, which I'm expecting to get on this floor, at least if we. Put in a reasonable amount of, of time and effort into getting it. Um, that might make us a little uncomfortably fast, but we'll see. Now, this is a weird situation because with only 2 HP and being on an XL floor, the Forget Me Now actually has pretty substantial benefits, I think, uh, because we would get another two full floors. It's actually like a Forget Me Now times two. So we could get everything from this floor, assuming we get keys anyway. We could at least get the boss room items. Um, and then we could go to two more floors. We'd lose the D6, and that's a pretty big loss, but. It would uh, maybe pay for itself pretty quickly anyway, so... Uh, or maybe pay for itself overall. Maybe not quickly, but anyway. Uh, so we picked up a little bit more money there. I was thinking about maybe doing that right off the bat so that I could, uh, you know, go to the shop as quickly as possible. But this is fine. We can just pick up some more HP like so. And uh, we got a lot of exploration left to do on this floor. Luckily, I have so much speed that it's not really that big of a concern, I suppose. We'll continue moving onwards on the upper side here. And this is why I like having the ability to fly. It makes things so much easier from the perspective of like, oh, we don't even need to worry about like forcing this guy to use his bombs effectively. We don't even need to worry about using our own bombs. I would worry about getting some tinted rocks. At this point, like, the small rock is a huge get for me because the damage upgrade obviously very nice, but also it would slow me down ever so slightly. And that would make me feel a whole lot better about the fact that uh, I'm likely to get another speed upgrade from the form of this blood bank. If I'm lucky, if I'm lucky, anyway. Uh, but we'll see what we get in our item room. This is our only reroll pedestal, so... Uh, I guess I am saying that we're not gonna go with Forget Me Now. Largely because, uh, you know, I thought about it, but then we have so many rerolls uh, potentially available on this floor, and not very many reroll pedestals with which to do them, so... Uh, we'll, we'll get rid of Forget Me Now. It was a nice pipe dream. It probably would have given us at least another HP upgrade or two, uh, which could make the difference, but I'm hoping that it doesn't. So, uh, a little bit of poor play for me to take damage there. Uh, yeah, we didn't need to pick up that heart. We could have saved it and played the Blood Bank once more, but, you know, you know me. I I'm a slave to my hatred for backtracking, so if I ever have the opportunity to not backtrack, I'm always very excited about that, even if it does not necessarily coincide with being the objective best move. So, there we go. We got another Spirit Heart, which is not necessarily the best thing to pick up right away, but again... Uh, what did I just say? I hate backtracking. Uh, we'll come down and to the right here. And we're gonna find a whole bunch of nubs. I'm playing pretty poorly on this floor, but it is worth noting that it is the catacombs. And I, I mean, like, dodging and shooting pretty poorly. And, like, that's a great example right there. Sure, we'll take Samson's Lock instead of the Birdfoot. You know what? Uh, all the, to the victor go the spoils. I'm gonna take this other speed upgrade. We'll get real silly about things. Uh... Yeah, like, my, my dodging and shooting has not been particularly strong, but it is important to note that we're on the catacombs as well. You know what? I'm going to cash out with Sacrificial Dagger here. Please tell me that at some point I can get more keys. Like, that's really the most important thing in the world to me right now, but uh, we haven't had that opportunity, unfortunately. The item room and shop are both, like, extremely viable. And uh, the great thing about the shop is, obviously, that I could probably buy some more hearts in there and play the Blood Bank more. It'll probably pay for itself. Hey, there we go, we got a key, so let's take ourselves back here. I expect that this is going to be a long floor, especially if we end up encountering an arcade, but uh, we're going to go to the shop first of all, because we're not going to have too many shops for the rest of the game, thanks to being on an XL floor here, but we get the compass. Okay, so that's really good. We can't buy any more hearts to heal ourselves, but that's fine. Compass for free is great. There is a, a mini boss and a boss trap room up here, so what I actually am going to do is lower myself down to one red heart, 
And maybe we'll get the IV, uh, the blood bank or IV bag paid out here, but I kind of- Hey! Okay, so we'll go pick this up in a second. First things first, we want to guarantee ourselves a shot at that boss trap room. So this is what I'm feeling. If I'm not playing well from a, you know, like dodging and shooting standpoint, at least I am making fairly reasonably smart decisions from a, uh, like, intellectual standpoint, which I'm not tuning my own horn, I'm just saying that uh, I think I've done things in the right order, which actually does make a big difference sometimes. So, uh, I am at risk of death. We can go to the other item room now. Ooh, I was really hoping there was a spirit heart. We can open this golden chest now. A little bit more money. That was kind of a waste, but that's alright. Please be an HP upgrade. It is Jesus Juice, which is a damage upgrade. And this is, this is fine, because I can always go back and pick up the IV bag after we finish this room. The important thing is just don't die on this room. And if I don't die on this room, that's fine. And obviously I'm hoping that maybe we fight Gluttony in, or Super Gluttony, I guess, in the, uh, no, it's just Gluttony, isn't it? In the, uh, mini-boss room. This went fairly well. We will go back and check out our other item room back here. Uh, so far so good on this floor. This floor has the, the real potential to basically make things for us. And, you know, we already have Mom's Knife and the ability to fly, so things are already, to a certain extent, pretty made, but, uh, might as well, uh, if possible, give myself an even better chance for success, and, uh, this blood bag is gonna go a long way towards making that happen. My speed seems fine, I'm pretty fast, uh, but that's okay. Rerolled Celtic Cross into Mom's Bra, this is something I'm probably gonna regret, isn't it? Celtic Cross is just one of those items that, you know, in mankind, we fear the unknown, and I, I fear, uh, not knowing how the mechanics of that works. So I'm thinking, like, probably Mom's Bra is gonna be the best reroll. If we were on Universal Items Pool, it wouldn't matter, but we're gonna be in the boss room fairly soon, and uh, that's gonna limit our ability to, to reroll everything that I wanna reroll. It actually, okay, so it is Super Gluttony. Both Gluttony and Super Gluttony exist, just to clarify. I was just trying to remember which one I wanted to fight, and Gluttony would be the one that I would want to fight. The Super Gluttony's a little trickier, but hey, we picked up another key. And some more bombs. Uh, I guess we'll make our way down to the boss room. There are two bosses in the boss room. So I'm just doing the math to figure out if I need to backtrack right away. And I think the answer to that question is no. Because we're not going to get another reroll? Yeah, that's true. So we might as well just go uh, go to town here. The only way we'd get another reroll is if we fought Krampus. Which is not outside the realm of possibility. But, you know, I, I think it's probably pretty unlikely. And it's not that major of a concern, even if it was. So the range upgrade, what's better to reroll? Now we, it comes down to a question of like item pools. And I would almost rather reroll the range upgrade, just to have a better chance to get uh, an HP upgrade, which is probably more valuable for me right now. Very easy boss fight, obviously. We got an HP upgrade in the form of meat. Uh, you know, I guess it is best to take the range upgrade. I'm just gonna burn the fool card right away to save me the slightest amount of backtracking time. And then we'll reroll Mom's Bra. Because we picked up two HP upgrades on this floor anyway, I feel reasonably okay about, like, abandoning, uh... What was I gonna... Or about not... Uh, abandoning hope of rerolling the range upgrade to an HP upgrade. And we'll just reroll this instead and hope for a passive. And it's Attack Fly, and Attack Fly is actually pretty good. I'm okay with that. So I would say this floor turned out really well. Uh, we got a, picked up a couple of damage upgrades, picked up two HP upgrades, like three speed upgrades, which is probably overkill at this point. Uh, the attack fly and sacrificial dagger. It's probably not the ideal permutation if you were using the same seed as me. You could probably do something better if you uh, had some foresight and more keys earlier on, but so be it. I think this is fine. So we'll head down to Necropolis or the Depths, hopefully the Depths. And the good news is now we are at a level of self-sufficiency with respect to our keys. So it is the Depths. So now we can go to the item room and the shop, uh, at least on this floor and hopefully on the next floor as well. Ah, uh, that was really bad. If I had just managed to shoot him well behind the rock, I would have been fine. So we still need HP. That's, uh, that hasn't changed, but... Okay, well, we will have a shop on the next floor. I hope this guy drops a key as a consumable. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll still have the shop on the next floor, and I already have the compass, that's the other thing I picked up that I neglected to mention. And should not have neglected to mention, because the compass is one of the greatest predictors of uh, a good run, I think. That's good, we'll get back to full HP, more than enough money to do whatever we want, even if a judgment shows up, and a bad gas pill. I actually remembered that one, believe it or not. Uh, let's make our way back to the item room. I, we're gonna waste some reroll potential here, but I was going to the shop right away, hoping that I'd be able to use my rerolls effectively. So, uh, what do I want from the item room? I would like more damage or more health. That's something that very rarely changes. Uh, but in this case, 
probably health more essential than damage. I can still fairly easily lose this run. Lemon Mishap is neither health nor damage, really, if you think about it. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll take Guardian Angel. In some way, this is kind of like health because uh, it's going to prevent us from taking damage, which effectively gives us health. That's the way I'm going to phrase it anyway. And we do have two keys, so that sets us up nicely for the next floor. Remember what I said about not just throwing Spirit Hearts away on Curse Rooms? Uh, now that we're on a larger floor, all of my principles have fallen by the wayside, so we are going to sacrifice half of the Spirit Heart to get a Troll Bomb. What a waste. Let's just imagine that an enemy hit us instead. That would be less infuriating. I guess we'll play this once. Hey, lucky me. If we find a Blood Bank, that would be great. And this looks like a very small floor, especially, I mean, obviously, relative to the one that just came before it, so... Uh, we'll just finish this off as quickly as possible. Death card is something that I will just use right away because it's not really that useful uh, on bosses. Actually, you know what? I, I'm going to use the death card on the mob trap room here. But first, we're going to go back. Oh, no, we don't have a reroll to use. Okay, so maybe we should actually bum rush the boss room. But then we still won't be able to get another reroll back. I think we just finished the floor as if it was normal now. My logic, by the way, is like we won't be able to um, get another reroll because after I go to the boss room, there's only going to be two rooms left. So if I want to reroll the boss room, then I, I won't have the opportunity to get another reroll. So we might as well just open this up. We got a dime, which is actually fairly nice, but um, not particularly useful this late in the game, unless we come across a, a judgment or get money equals power or something. Either of those, by the way, would be very much welcomed in the, the home of Northern Lion. Now, so far so good on this run. Uh, still, we have a little bit of a sore spot with respect to our health, but uh, hopefully we can snag an HP upgrade here and nullify that. And I would love to be able to find the secret room on this floor. Now that we have five bombs, I mean, there's many possible locations of the secret room here, which makes me a little bit wary. Uh, this pill might be a speed upgrade. Fantastic. Let's see what we get. Oh, so it's going to be a cube of meat, which is actually kind of okay. You know, I would rather get a cube of meat for fighting Famine, who is a much easier boss than War. But uh, with the amount of damage that we're doing, no boss is really uh, insurmountable for us right now. Uh, so this finishes up our whole suite of orbitals. There's one, two, three, four, five possible secret room locations. Fuck that. We leaving. Okay. So HP upgrade essential at this point. We're, we're running out of time to just say like, oh, we'll be fine. We're still stronger than the enemies. We are, but, but that'll change pretty quickly. And, you know, if you're in a position where you can only take three hits without dying, that makes uh, some individual rooms on the womb, chest, and cathedral pretty fucking difficult. Now, Book of Revelations is... Uh, pretty tempting here. The reason I'm not going to get it is because I think it, D6 actually gives us better value long term. And we have a reroll pedestal, so I can pay 7 cents for a spirit heart with the amount of money that I have. That's actually like a totally fine trade. Uh, oh, that was awful damage. Uh, and uh, sure, the death card will end up using again in like this situation, because I hate hoppers. Okay, pick up this bomb. Um, yeah, we paid seven cents for a spirit heart, and we get a reroll pedestal that's free to pick up. So I think that's okay. Now, uh, seriously and sincerely, offensively, we're in a very good position right now. Defensively, kind of shitty. Uh, even if we had like the greatest item offensively in the game, or the greatest synergy offensively in the game, let's let's imagine we're one-shotting every enemy with like mom's knife as soon as I walk into the room. Um, not as soon as I walk into the room, but soon after walking into the room. I am going to pick up the map. It helps us, uh, like, speedball the rest of the game so quickly and find all the secret rooms, which is very nice, and plan our rerolls effectively. But in any case, um, I still don't know if four hearts without, like, Relic and Miter would be enough to, uh, to beat the game. Just because you're going to take damage. You, you can't avoid taking damage. Uh, well, I mean, some people probably can avoid taking damage, but I'm not one of them. We are stacking up some spirit hearts here, which I think is nice. Uh, this room can basically go fuck itself. I'm just going to teleport myself out to the secret room using the moon card. And we'll move onwards here. So, uh, a very good uh, chest from the mob trap room there. But didn't contain exactly what I wanted, which would have been a little bit more of the blood of life. Uh, it's another pretty good chest there. And scapular. We are going to get one more reroll, so I'm going to reroll it. Monster Manuel is not very good. I understand Scapular and Celtic Cross, man. Probably should have picked up both of those, but uh, what do I know, right? Uh, another golden chest. We actually are kind of running into a situation where maybe it's not going to be possible for us to get another reroll. That would suck, because a, a free Scapular is better than uh, nothing. HP up. Bombs are key. And we'll take the other, um, we'll take the other Bombs are key pill with us. 
Well, you know what we can do? We can just go into the mob trap room and, and you know, fight the end. No, we can't. All right. Um, we should get another reroll, but it's going to be... It's going to require ab absolutely every room having enemies. And they don't, so... Uh, you know, unfortunately, I, I should have just picked up scapular. That was a fairly stupid decision. It probably won't have a tangible impact on the run, but it could, and I, you know, I have no excuse really to offer for myself. We're not even gonna get a re get a reroll on the mom fight here, so I really should have just picked up scapular, and then I would have had a chance to reroll whatever uh, this lady's gonna drop too. So that makes me feel pretty bad. Blue Mom has been real easy so far because of our damage, and this fight's over. We get Squeezy, so I feel still okay. I probably wouldn't have rerolled Squeezy even if we had a reroll, but I would have Squeezy and uh, Scapular. Anyway, down to the next floor. I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee here. So, unfortunately, we're in a position where I really do not feel comfortable. Whoop. Um. Uh, we're in a position where I really do not feel comfortable going to the curse room just because our HP is so essential for us right now I, I still think we're probably an above 50% play here to win But we're gonna need to not take very much damage at all and we're gonna need to get pretty lucky uh, With this drop and maybe the devil room that comes after it. I think I don't know. We'll see at the very least I need to focus on uh, Providing good play that bomb was fine We'll probably use bombs or key before the mom's uh, heart fight. Because, uh, you know what, we might not even do that. It might just be for the best for me to save my, uh, save my keys in case golden chests show up. And we're going to be able to tear through mom's heart pretty quickly regardless, just because of the crazy damage that we do. It's a weird one. Um, I really, once we got mom's knife uh, for free and then the ability to fly, I expected us to be in a pretty solid position, and we are in a pretty solid position, like I'm in no danger of dying on this floor, uh, unless we come across like the worst boss that I can possibly imagine, uh, but uh, I really thought like it was a done deal that we would beat the, the chest in the cathedral, but we need a little bit more. And if we get to the chest, you know, all bets are off because we get the four free items. What I'm really worried about is getting through the cathedral. And this is interesting. We will play this Demon Judgment because it's probably nearly essential that we do. Come on, you just want to give me one more play there. Okay, we'll go pick up some extra HP. We're, you know, blessed enough that we have a lot of uh, red hearts just kind of chilling here. This will allow us to be at a half heart interval as well, which will allow us to play the shit out of this Demon Judgment. You know you want to pay out something beautiful, man. Now's your chance to make a difference in this world instead of just being a leech. Now we're going to play him as much as we can during this period of invincibility. Alright. Uh, temperance, which is a blood bank. That's kind of like a cruel joke at this point. So we'll continue making our way through here. We have enough spirit hearts to, to be fine with the uh, amount of red hearts that we lost until we get our red hearts back, which hopefully we do. I've made that mistake before. There's another half red heart. So yeah, we can get another period of invincibility just by playing this guy again. We'll absolutely take that opportunity every time. That's another speed upgrade pill it's hard for me to tell these days all right well we'll leave hmm why does demon judgment only take a half heart I didn't pick up the wafer maybe does he take half a spirit heart in addition to half of a red heart if so that's real weird um, no he didn't okay he paid out with two of spades you know what I think we do bombs or key and then we double our Keys. That seems pretty okay to me. All right. Uh, I guess we're gonna go fight our boss, and then we'll deal with what else we're gonna, or we'll figure out what else we're gonna do for the rest of this floor. So the fallen is basically the ideal boss fight right now because we're gonna get a uh, deal with the devil item and or pedestal to to reroll. So uh, he didn't even like attack at all. Ouija board is the easiest reroll of all time. Guppy's head gives us a guppy item, so that you might as well get the flies around us once. Uh, gives us a guppy item, so that's pretty valuable. Uh, in case maybe we can get the luckiest rerolls of all time, or get Demon Judgment to pay out with a guppy item. Uh, that's the pact. We're gonna take it. Free spirit hearts, but also, uh, extra stats. So that feels pretty good. We, we invested a lot to get it, but here we are with, um, you know, basically the same amount of HP in spirit heart form that we had before. A little bit lower on the red hearts, but we'll get more of those. And we are going to go to like every single room that's available here so that we can get back on the horse. I don't really think we need bombs or key. We Probably don't need that Temperance card. I guess there's no reason not to take the Temperance card with us. But, uh, well, my reason is fear, because I don't trust myself to not play the Blood Bank in, like, the worst situations. 
Uh, we will still be able to get one more reroll, so let's reroll Guppy's head. It's kind of selfishly, I'm hoping that it's like Guppy's paw, then followed by Guppy's tail. So we reroll it, and uh, it's money equals power. So we're just gonna pick this up. Money equals power gives us huge damage, and it's down to the next floor. So I realized that I was like, hey, we're gonna explore the entire floor. That changed uh, as soon as we got an item that gave us uh, crazy damage, and there's no more need for me to have a reroll available. In all likelihood, at least. So our dream of becoming Guppy is pretty low, but uh, money equals power gives us 0 .04 damage per uh, cent, which is real nice when you have 60 cents. So what's, you know, six times 0 .04, that's like 2.4 damage, basically. Uh, well, you know, sorry, my showing of my work there was not very good, but I'm pretty sure uh, that my, my math adds up anyway. An extra 2.4 damage is like really huge. Now, uh, there's no way for me to know if I am going in the right direction here, so I'm just gonna kind of hope for the best, I suppose. This is like the ideal lust fight. Hey, we actually even got Poison Touch back from it. Not a uh, game-winning item, and maybe we'll get Mr. Mega or something from Wrath here. Not a game-winning item, probably, but a very nice item to have regardless. Uh, especially if somehow we get Guppy's Paw or something. Well, we just got more bombs. That's fine, too. All right, Mom's Heart, I expect, you know, we've got, like, basically an ideal set of items for dealing with Mom's Heart. Decent amount of bombs, and also, uh, Mom's Knife is just gonna tear her shit up, basically, as you can see. Already firing bombs continuously. Uh, this is among the best runs I think I've had from a damage standpoint. Obviously, it has its problems, and, uh, I would love to have gotten more HP on this floor, but so be it, right? All right, it's a long way to the Isaac fight here. We're very lucky in that we're one-shotting enemies uh, basically as soon as we can hit them. So as long as I'm playing with a little bit of... Not all enemies. That greed actually lived. Not all enemies, but uh, as long as I play with a little bit of caution, a little bit of foresight, and, and remain focused, I should be all right. Yep. I didn't take damage there. Holy shit. Okay, thank you, Guardian Angel, plus full suite of orbitals. Didn't take damage there either. Okay, at least got him with the backswing. You know, the handle of the knife does almost as much damage as the the blade. That's uh, a very important HP upgrade. Now, please just give me, like, girdies for the rest of the rooms. All right, this is uh, a room where my orbitals can't save me from uh, the damage from the bomb flies. But I do have good range on the knife. That was stupid, but at least we, we got some HP on the last floor to compensate. This is, uh, yep, okay. Remember what I said about remaining focused. That's, uh... Three spirit hearts in like 10 seconds that I'm not very happy about having lost. At least we didn't lose another one though. That key is not worth my fucking time. Okay, one-shotting the greeds is, is very nice. Probably should stay at a half heart interval for now. So let's ignore this. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, good chain reaction. Keep it up. I'm gonna put a bomb down here just in case. Didn't really work. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. We're in a weird spot now. This eternal heart is something I would rather save uh, for the next floor if we live that long. That's debatable. I picked that up because uh, we have another half heart we can pick up. So that's pretty important, actually. Extra key is meaningless. Uh, sure. So we can get hit three times and then have a... I swear to God, my keyboard bugged the fuck out there. Um, but we will have possibly a spirit heart to protect that uh, eternal heart. So that's valuable-ish, but still kind of a big waste. Um, hopefully I only get hit once against Isaac. That's pretty unlikely, though. But I do have a full suite of orbitals. All right, so it is time for the Isaac fight. I've been been dreading this and looking forward to it. This is a, a big moment of truth. We do a ton of damage. A, a serious amount of uh, fucking damage here. Is there just no secret room on this floor, by the way? I have the map, so you'd think I'd be able to see it. Um, that's weird. It's okay, though. This has been a very easy fight so far. I think I may have overestimated uh, how much of a problem Isaac would be. We haven't been hit at all so far. Almost got hit there. Yeah, okay, so we beat Isaac without getting hit. Uh, we may get hit on the angel fetuses, but we, be we beat the man himself without getting hit. All right, I feel a lot better about this right now, especially now that I got that HP upgrade, and we have reroll pedestals like fucking crazy. All spacebar items, except for the dead bird, uh, all gonna be rerolled, including the dead bird, because, uh, you know, even something like the rosary is way more beneficial, but I am on the lookout for a, a spacebar item that would be good to take into that boss fight. Honestly, all of these are bad as well, so, um, yeah, I, I can't really see myself picking up any of those and enjoying it. Not getting hit by the bloat there until I walked directly into him felt pretty good until I walked directly into him, which felt really bad. Um, 
I don't know. It's a really poor decision on my part to handle death first. I should have gone for death second. Because it creates this uncomfortable situation. Luckily, I can get back to the HP that I had, minus the spirit heart. Just by picking this up. And there's a half heart on the other floor as well. On the other room, I should say. So we'll go pick that up. And I'm just getting rerolls. I am going to go to the secret room. Alright, so the Widow is going to die in one hit. Each one, I think. I've just got to make sure that I'm not putting myself too much in harm's way. Okay, might as well take out the green nub. That could come back to bite me in the ass. Let's check out our secret room just before we get ready, because this is going to be our last reroll before the boss. Uh, it's a one-up. I'm going to take that. That seems, like, really useful for me. And I only got hit once against Isaac. That could change against Blue Baby, but I do feel like we're in a pretty okay situation here. Let's reroll these. Uh, Lard is the hugest pickup of all time. The Miter might give us one more secret, uh, one more spirit heart, I should say, before we get to the boss. And an extra speed upgrade helps compensate for the, uh, the, uh, slowness that Lard has given me. And I got an extra HP there. Want to be at a half heart interval if possible. Hopefully we'll, we will have that opportunity here. If not, though, I still think taking Lard is the right decision. Allowed us to get one more HP going into that boss fight. Alright, here we go. It's going to be a big moment. I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to be fine. Full suite of orbitals wasn't even useful on the last fight, really. Just because, like, we're hitting him so... Oh, there we go. We actually took one damage. We're hitting him so infrequently that he barely fires. And our infrequent shots do so much damage. Yeah, we're going to be fine here. So this run was uh, basically set in stone, I guess. Uh, ever since I got those that 2 HP upgrade bonus on that Catacombs XL floor. That compensated for all the downgrades that we got. But in any case, I hope you enjoyed this run. It was a short run, but uh, I had a good time with it regardless. As always, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure to click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more Isaac. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.